hi guys you're welcome back to my channel as you can tell by my very terrible sounding voice i lost my voice so this is what you're going to be hearing throughout this vlog so i just wanted to quickly take you guys through how i started my final clearance for my nyc and how nigeria literally stressed the hell out of me and how well you guys by the time you're watching this video you must have already watched the video that i talked about this whole thing so yeah let's just get into it hey guys I didn't <laughs> So, we are going to have fire cars, but they are stressing us out. As in, these people are really stressing us out. Now, we are going are you to. Vlogging? What? Are you vlogging? Yes, yes I am. Ah, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Oh, my God. No, 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 it's fine. So, they are making us go to another whole market to go and to copy from you. It's us. I'm too tired. Okay, bye, guys. We are going. So guys, this is Adana. Adana also has a YouTube channel. I'm going to link it in, in the description box. I have no idea why she was walking like this. But we were going to look for where we were going to photocopy our documents because we had to make copies. And you know how Nigeria just likes paper. And this place was so crowded. Like to think that this place wasn't even as crowded as the other place. It was crazy. Hi. 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 Hi guys, so we are done printing all those printables and we had to pay like three five. Three not if I can buy me food. Food that will better for me. You now we have to wait for them to finish doing. Can you see the crowd? Let me let me just see the camera. The freaking scam. The only part that you can even enjoy is like calm. Yes. yes. So guys, remember in my other video, I said that people were literally struggling to get into the hole. This was how we were struggling. Like I just, I'm just going to turn my camera so you can see the number of people that were waiting outside just so that she would come and do our clearance. We were so tired. So this is what the hall is, basically. Um, she was trying to check people's papers and she didn't want too many people at the table so that she'd be able to check everything well. But it was just very, very slow. And by this time, like I was already inside and I was already saving my punishment so i don't know the whole thing was very stressful there were still i think this was a, around like five o'clock there were still people waiting outside and man it was not funny So this part was when she was telling everybody to come back tomorrow and remember i was saying that everybody was just parrying and they were losing it because i feel like they were going to beat her up because people were very very livid and rightly so because she wasted all our time So remember i said that we had to come back the next day to get a paper that we would present at camp for us to receive our certificates so this was the next day we we're all standing under the sun and it wasn't even funny but thankfully i got mine because they shared it according to platoons so what was left for us to do was to do our biometrics and this is the line for the biometrics can you just can you just imagine this one is another issue on this so eventually i was able to get inside this is where i was inside they were using two machines thank goodness because i think one thing that usually upsets me here is the fact that my fingerprint takes a while for it to reflect i said i mentioned in my other video that i tried this thing up to 10 times and it was still not working but eventually it did so i was very very happy like when i was leaving i was so happy goodbye hsa3 local governments forever I shall never see you again. Ooh. Walking out these gates as a free woman. Mm. My 
So guys, this was when I was on my way to camp. I was actually going to meet up with some people, the girls that I was going to camp with, one of my friends, Umezini, and some of her colleagues. But on my way there, I realized that I forgot that paper that I took from my local government and that meant that I had to go back home to get the paper and then go back to Mega Chicken to meet my friends there. So I finally got paper and I was on my way back and I look very very stress free here right just wait till you see me at the end of this vlog you pity me in Jesus name Amen Heavenly Father we thank you for this I thank you for the success Amen Amen Put it that you go before us in Jesus Amen At the end of today all glory will turn back to you Jesus Amen In Jesus name we pray God do anybody that will see that we don't like in our investment Oh God Like you're going to enjoy today. Yeah. <laughs> so prepare yourself. Turn right onto a pop of Shahi Expressway. Which of them? Oh, is it oh, no red? I swear. I swear. I'm so serious. I'm so serious. I'm passing serious traffic. What do you say, Jack? When I have money, I will just leave and go. I go and leave. I will punish them. I said I will create a group of high riders. So thankfully the road was actually free most of the time we were moving unlike what we usually face whenever we go out here in lagos so the traffic was not much and in no time i think we were in camp in about an hour we should have gotten there in less but i mean what is lagos without some traffic so yeah guys we're in camp and i'm with me let me show you guys me <laughs> So after the parade, we went to look for our local governments, but I decided to greet some of my friends from school that I had not seen in a very, very long time. So yeah. Say hi to all my friends. Hi. I'm Chilima. Okay, you're coming to close to the camera. Oh, no, no. Hi. Hi, hi, it's our face as well. Yeah, well let me go I need to bring my tripod. I don't understand why you fronting nothing. Finna make me run from the sun. So guys, this is when we were lining up to collect our certificates and when I tell you there was no line, <laughs> I mean it, like there was no line. So they kind of arranged us according to our numbers, like let's say if your number falls between 1000 and 2000, you line up under this canopy and things like that. But we're under this one for so long, like I said in that other video, I pity my skin. Hey guys, so I'm still standing in the line. The line is so long, my god. I am tired. I just want to do and go home. So, guys, after 600 years of standing on this line and 2 billion people coming to my front to cut the line, it finally became my turn and this was when she was looking for my certificate. So you have to give her your number and then she'll find your certificate and then you have to sign that you've collected it. Bring it 
back with this bravado. Put your body on me, rock it so slow. Blow my top off, you're a desperate. So I finally collected my certificate. I intentionally blurred it out, but now I can say I'm a complete and full Nigerian. Coming to camp was very, very sweet. Like I remember when I came back in March 2021. Like at first I didn't like it, but I kind of grew fond of it. And coming back again this year just made me feel very, very nostalgic. I remember walking out these gates, being like, "Oh my God, I finally started serving," and now I'm just like, "Finally, I'm done." Because NYSC is one very, very stressful thing like i feel like people don't talk much about how stressful it is so when i was done i went home i was waiting for my ride outside and yeah that's it hi guys so i'm finally on my way home i've lost my voice i'm going home with my friend her name is christy i've lost my voice and they give us all these useless magazines and they made us pay like 3k for you pay 3k you pay 3k <laughs> Sorry. Hey. And this nonsense thing. What is this? What am I supposed to use this for? I'm only even taking it home because I saw a puzzle at the back. I'll give my junior ones. I'm so tired. I hope we get home on time. Anyway, guys, um, that's the end of this vlog. I think it's not the end, and I'll just cut it here. So, see you guys next time. Bye. Don't do NYSC. <laughs> Make sure you don't do it.